I'm Cheryl Vogel, and I'm here at Valley House Gallery in Dallas, where we have installed highlights from the Dallas Art Fair booth that we would have had in mid-April that was, is postponed until October. And one of the young artists that we have uh, taken a painting on uh, to present at the Art Fair is Sean Cairns. He moved to the Dallas area about six years ago from Minneapolis, and he's here to talk to you about his painting, Attic. Sean? Hi, yeah. Um, so much of my work comes from my growing up in rural America, and I usually paint in sort of a really general, almost abstract way to begin with, and just layering up paint in different ways, and working mainly at first with acrylic to sort of flesh out an idea. Um, but you can see in this painting, uh, if you were in person or if you zoomed in, there would be a lot of layers, thick, thick paint and then very thin washes at times. Um, and so much of that's uh, because I'm, I'm pushing and pulling paint, but also figuring out what the painting is going to be. So I usually don't start out with an idea. Um, but going back to that idea of rural America, this is... Uh, sort of an image of my brother um, and when he bought a small house in Illinois and everybody that stayed there told told him that the place is haunted and uh, he had a, uh, an attic uh, and so many people uh, came in and said they heard footsteps or but it was always from above and I, I went in there I never experienced that but so many other people my dad my mom one time, uh, they all said, yeah, when I was in there alone, you have to be in there alone. Uh, and so uh, my brother, he barbecues, makes fires all the time, uh, fries fish, cooks fish on the grill, uh, making beans, uh, just kind of doing the country living kind of lifestyle. Uh, while meanwhile, people in the house experiencing something like a ghost upstairs. So I, I painted real thin uh, a, a wash of these feet that might just be walking across the roof while he enjoys his, his meal. Uh, but uh, it's in, mostly in oil after it's, uh, I go uh, to the final stages. Uh, the trees are actually uh, wood stain, uh, high quality wood stain that I at the time was really attracted to. and It was laced through a lot of paintings that I I uh, did at the time, uh, but then carving back in a lot of, a, uh, like actually using the back end of the brush to carve out areas uh, or palette knives and various things like that. So yeah, enjoy my work if you get to come see it sometime and thanks for having me by my house.